How's it going fellas and welcome to the channel where I kick back, relax and teach you guys how to play NBA 2K22's My Career and choosing a team is just so important this year. If you don't choose the right team yourself, you get drafted to a bottom feeder team like the Thunder or the Pistons and it's rough trying to win games fellas as a 60 overall, it really is. So over the next few minutes I'm going to be telling you the best teams that you should look at or the teams that you should void completely. So if you do like that sort of stuff, fellas don't forget to leave a like hit the subscribe button and comment down below which team you play for and whether you like them or whether you want to be traded immediately leave it all in the comments below but anyway guys i've talked and rave long enough let's get into it So the first thing I want to talk about is don't take away minutes from the team superstar. You need to look at what position you play and what position the team superstar plays in. You don't want to be in the same position, fellas. You want him on the court with you and for as long as possible. When you're taking minutes away from him, it only hurts your team more than it helps. And it really does, fellas, that you, you really will struggle if he's not on the court for at least 30 minutes. And if you're taking minutes away from him all the time, it's just going to be an uphill battle time and time again to try and win games and trying to keep his stats high to be a superstar so you actually have two superstars on a team so if you are a point guard you might want to avoid teams like the Warriors or the Suns and if you're a big man you might want to avoid the 76ers you can get away with it a little bit more as a big man since their power forward and center are a lot more similar than a point guard and a shooting guard Fact. So the next thing I want to talk about is surrounding yourself with shooters. Shooters help way, way, way more fellas than what slashes do. Being able to space the floor is so important for creating space and running an effective pick and roll system. And having more reliable shooters will help you when the defense collapses every single time, leaving a guy wide open. And having faith that he will actually make a shot is a huge bonus, fellas. You'll want to pass him the ball because if you are like me and play for the Pistons, I have Diallo on my wing he's a slasher at best he's a 70 overall a slasher so i've got no chance of him making free so having reliable shooters helps so much but also being able to run an effective iso game helps heaps fellas it really does putting bad defenders on an island and forcing the ai to help will only benefit you this also helps when they're double teaming you having good shooters around you will help you when you get double teamed too fellas pair this up with bail out on bronze and you'll be hitting baskets from the double team just pass it to the guy next to you he'll hit the open man and it's an easy shot every single time it's not that difficult fellas just have the right badges and the right strategies and you'll be winning games in no time with these teams these teams are overpowered if you do use them right it's science so the last thing I want to talk about before I tell you which teams to use for each position and that is you want a fast big man fellas. This is one of the most important things for me to be honest because how much I use the pick and roll system. This system works with slow ass Kenny Olynyk. You know what I mean fellas? So it works. If you do struggle to run an effective pick and roll system have a look at my tutorials on the channel they really will help out but having someone like Embiid or Carl Anthony Towns with that extra pace will make it impossible for the AI to defend it consistently fellas bear motor bio could work as well fellas but the good thing about these players is they do have the ability to shoot too so the fade is also an option you don't want to do it all the time but don't be scared to throw a fade in every now and then if you do throw a fade in just turbo around the screen towards the basket hopefully the big and the guard chase you so they're both on you leaving the big man wide open for free but if they do switch it makes an easy mismatch an easy basket for the big man to hopefully post up if worse comes to worst get the ball back wait for the guy to get near the paint then throw him back the ball with the little point guard on the big men now created by the mismatch it's time to expose it trust me so the last thing I want to talk about before I end the video is just the best teams for each position. And if you're a point guard, you want to look at the 76ers, the Heat, the Jazz, the Clippers, and the Celtics. These teams have great shooting, fellas, and even better defense, or both. But to be honest, fellas, the Celtics and Clippers don't have the greatest big men, but they will make up for it with consistent shooting of Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, or Tatum and Brown, and consistent defense as well, because all those players are lockdown defenders also. So this will help a ton 
when you're being a point guard. The next position I want to talk about is the shooting guard, fellas. You want to look at the Nets, the Bucks, or Memphis. These teams will help you if you are a shooting guard, fellas. Having a decent point guard and bigs, as long as you can score the ball off ball, like using off ball slips and streams and stuff like that, like slips to the basket and kick outs back to three and things like that, or even creating a shot for yourself, you will be fine. So the next position, of course, is the small forward, and you want to look at the Warriors, the Suns, and the Jazz. These teams need a role or a support player, fellas. So if you aren't the greatest ball handler, you can play for these teams because they already have Steph Curry, Chris Paul, Donovan Mitchell, players like this that will run the team for you. As long as you can use your advantages off the ball, you will be fine because you just need to be the final piece of the puzzle. If you're struggling to win, these teams will help you if you are a small forward and just take control and win the game for you until you get become a higher overall, fellas. I'm stuttering, I'm ranting, I'm raving. But the next position I want to talk about is power forward. Warriors, Clippers, Suns, and Jazz. These teams need a power forward or even both bigs, fellas. But if you are a presence on defense inside the paint, this team will take you to a whole new level, these teams. They really will, fellas. As long as you are scoring enough with the ball, you'll be fine as long as you get stops because these guys will score the ball a lot of the time as long as you just get the stops on defense. The next position I want to talk about is center fillers. The Mavs, the Lakers, the Clippers, or the Celtics. These teams are desperate, desperately in the need of a good big man. And they have a lot of other pieces that you need to win. They have the superstars. They have the shooting. Well, not so much the Lakers, but they do have the superstars. And as long as you find an effective way to score the ball as a big, the sky's the limit because these guys will help you a ton with tons of high overall players on the team. So the last thing I want to talk about is just a few final thoughts and hopefully these tips and tricks make it a little easier for you guys to win. There is no perfect team, fellas because every team has that stupid AI behind it. But it will help you win more games consistently, fellas. And if you are having a bad game, it's not the end of the world. But anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. If you do like these rant, raves, whatever you want to call them, tips, tricks, whatever you want to call them, don't forget to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below anything that you are struggling with. When it comes to your teammates, leave it in the comments below. But anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later. I'm out.